Uh, in this video I want to show you how to use sh 404 Ceph to look after 404 errors on your website. So uh, this assumes that you have purchased sh 404 Ceph and you have installed it on your Joomla website. So head into configuration and here you'll find a range of settings that relate to to your website. Let's head over to the error page and um, here you can set it up to automatically redirect uh, pages to a similar URL on your website. This can be handy uh, if um, uh, if you like it to handle it automatically, but I'll show you how to handle it manually. But let's have a look at the error page. So the error page is here and uh, you can simply type in the message you want and um, it will show a list of similar URLs for people to, to go to on your website. So having uh, set this up, I also make sure to uh, enable a log of 404 errors because that will be a very handy tool for us to see what pages people are coming to on your website by mistake. And using that you can then use sh 404 Ceph to redirect those people to the correct page on your website. And that's what I want to show you in this guide. So having that log running for a few days, let's then head over to 404 requests. And here you'll see a list of the pages that come up as errors. Now I have sorted them by hits, so simply click on the, the hits column to see the pages that most often come up as 404 errors. Now you'll see some here that really don't belong in Joomla at all. Here's WP login, which means that a hacker has tried to go to this link in order to log into the website. I wouldn't worry about it, it's typical hacker behavior. But you also see other links here that perhaps uh, are supposed to be genuine links in your website but they don't work anymore. In that, in that case, click on redirect to a Ceph URL. Take note of the original URL and select the, the equivalent that is correct for this URL. If you're not sure, copy the URL, go to the website, have a look at, at the different pages here and then choose the one that is correct and select redirect target. By doing this you will then be able to automatically redirect people who come to a page that has has an error to the equivalent new page on your website. So this is a very handy aspect of SH404 Ceph and I hope this little guide will help you.